What is up guys? Here we have another video review. This time we're going with Universe Classics Cliff Jumper. If you're wondering what kind of rant why am I doing random toys, it's because I just got him in the mail along with the last one I did, Landfill. So yeah, you're getting them because they haven't been put away in storage yet or they're put on the shelf yet. So they're out and they want to be reviewed, so let's talk about them. Um, I do want to thank a guy by the name of Pegis, Piagis, P-E-A-G-I-S, O one, uh, on TFW and other places for selling me this guy for a fair price. Very cool, he's in perfect condition, I love him. Thanks again. Totally cool. So, this is a repaint of Universe Classics Bumblebee. So he's somewhat VW bug-like, but not really. Um, so if you don't know why he is a repaint, um, the G1 Cliff Jumper is just a red version of Bumblebee in G1, the little mini bots. So that's why they made him a red repaint of um, yellow, yellow, regular yellow Bumblebee. But the yellow Bumblebee is the exact same toy with a different head, and he's yellow instead of red. So let's take a look at him. First of all, it comes with this thing. Now this is a jet ski on a hitch. Why does Cliff Jumper need a jet ski? I have no idea. But Bumblebee has the same thing, and I don't understand it, but, yeah, whatever. So we're going to put that off to the side, and that does transform, and we will talk about that in a few minutes. So, whoa, come over to Cliff Jumper. First of all, he does roll very well, since I just almost rolled him off the table. Rub symbol. Yeah. These don't always work for me. And he's not working for me now. Eh, yeah, screw it. He's an Autobot. If you don't know that, shame on you. Coming around here, got this cool kind of silvery paint job going through the front half of them onto the hood scoops and whatnot. Nice blue headlights. Got the silver back here. This is actually, a, uh, I think, a cooler paint job than Bumblebee. Got the trailer hitch in the back here. And robot kibble. He's actually not that kibbly, but we'll talk about it. We'll talk about him in robot mode in a minute. So, to transform this guy, he trans like I said, he transforms too, but I'll show you that after we get him in robot mode. To transform him, what you want to do is come in here and separate the doors first. Kind of make him like track, like a flying car. Yeah, I'm an idiot. Big whoop, want to fight about it? Then you want to come here split the whole back section and kind of fold it up out of the way. Oh, make sure the trailer hitch is folded all the way up. It'll lock in position. You'll see why that's important in a minute. Um, let's do the feet first. Separate the feet. You want to come in here and these are the seats. And they're actually, you know, painted red. They're actually really cool. They actually, you know, they go up and everything. But these are actually his knees. So what you want to do is fold this the seats down like that. I'm going to come up here and pull the hood up on both sides and then fold the feet. You want to kind of put it, straighten the legs out and put them over the kneecaps. So just pull it straight forward and kind of fold that hinge all the way forward. Okay, now what you want to do is come in here, flip the arms up and then down. come over here and you'll notice there's a peg here get that zoomed in there is a peg here on the door and a hole back here so what we want to do is rotate this around and this whole section will slide and peg into that hole so you do that again on this side Swing it around. Just line up everything and push. And his arms are basically done. Yeah. And then what you want to do is fold this down, popping the head out. And you want to fold this so, like I said, you need the trailer hitch folded all the way up so that when you fold this back, it'll lock in. 
So that pegs in and fixes in friction. It has a friction joint, it's very secure. But every time I transform him, I forget to pull the hitch up. And I'm like, why is it this locking? And it's because the hitch isn't up. So if you don't have that up, it won't, you know, form down and fit. So just make sure that's up and he will lock together. Come here, fold this down. Kind of, it, um, there's these two little tabs here. And there's little grooves in here, right? And his crotch there. And they kind of friction in there, but they're not that tight. And then his head, he has a peg here and a hole here, and they kind of friction in there, but not very tight. You fold his head down, fold everything around. Yeah, see, it doesn't really, kind of like a suggestion of, why don't you stay in there? I don't wanna. All right. And then we have Cliff Jumper in his robot mode. Looking pretty cool. Uh, I always liked this mold, I don't know why it did. I think he's pretty cool. Pretty hard to find now too, which is unfortunate. As far as articulation, ball jointed head, you can look almost straight up because of the transformation. Look around. Hey. Look up at you. Hey there. Um, arms are on a ball joint, so all the way everywhere. Elbows, ball joint. Wrists, got nothing. Hips, nothing. Knees bend all the way. Well, 90 degrees. And you can also, as part of the transformation, move his, you know, uh, move his foot 90 degrees. Um, in and out. He's got ball jointed hips and thigh swivels. No, not thigh swivels. Knee swivels. Like lower knee swivels. These are like upper, uh, the hell's that part? Calf muscles. Muscles. <laughs> not a muscle. Joint. Doo -doo -doo. So yeah, he's very, very cool. Really dig him. He does not have any guns though, which is a little weird. Well, it's not weird because it's just a repaint. Um, Bumblebee didn't have guns, but I'm surprised no one's made guns for him yet. Should see if I, I can give him something. Maybe I'll give him like a perfect effect guy or something. He's gotta have something. So let's come over to, put him in the back. Nobody puts Cliff Jumper in a corner. Come over here to the stupid jet ski. Yeah. All right. So you can see the jet ski on a trailer. Nothing special. But we can transform him. So first we want to pull this all out, and this is on like a an accordion joint kind of. So you want to just stretch that out till it's straight. Now what you want to do is come over here and rotate the jet ski. 180 degrees, so it's pointing the opposite way. And then you want to come over here and fold these 90 degrees this way so the wheels are in the front. And we take Cliff. And we come... Oh my god, I just dropped everything. If you notice back here, there's a groove. And in here, there's a... There's a tab. Right up in there. Kind of can't focus on it. There it is. Um, this guy's a little bit loose. Looks kind of like a loose tooth. So unfortunately he doesn't go in there very tightly. But what you do is you come back here and you focus and you plug this in like that. And it kind of, it's supposed to lock in there, but like I said, that one's a little bit loose. But he has a jetpack thing. So a cliff jumper can fly around going straight backwards, I guess. Whatever, it's just a little add-on. Don't really know why he needs a trailer and a jet ski, but whatever, it's there. So, he's, it's cool for what it is. So there you have, he's actually pretty well balanced. We can get him in to do some, see if we can get him. Do some karate moves, yeah. There we go. I'm practice my kicking. <laughs> So there we have Universe Cliff Jumper. I suggest if you can find this guy cheap. I paid less than 50 bucks for him. Uh, is he worth that? Yes. Is he worth more than 50 bucks? Mm, be careful. He's actually pretty hard to find right now. Um, Mitten Box, you're probably gonna see him for 70-ish. 
So try to get one loose in good condition like this guy. Again, big thanks to Pegis. Good guy. If you want to search, search his thread on TFW, he is selling more stuff. Uh, I would suggest highly from buying him, buying from him because he is a good guy. So yeah, Universe Cliff Jumper.